complex fractions learning objective by watching this instructional video you will be able to solve complex fractions using ba2 plus calculator before solving complex fractions let us understand what is meant by this term complex fraction so here we have this example complex fraction is a mathematical expression that contains one or more fractions in numerator or denominator or both so in this given question there is one here in denominator we have one fraction and there is another fraction in denominator so this is a complex fraction because it has two fractions in the denominator and we will use ba2 plus calculator to solve this as you know ba2 plus calculator comes in many versions so this one is old version of ba2 plus professional calculator and this is the new version of ba2 plus professional calculator this is new version of ba2 plus student calculator this is older version of ba2 plus student calculator so these two are the newer versions this one is professional new version and this is standard ba2 plus calculator we can call it student version calculator and these ones are the old versions these ones are the old versions of ba2 plus calculator so in market you may find one of these here we are using emulator so we will solve this complex fraction before solving this complex fraction we need to set up our calculator so for this purpose make sure you go to click second and then click format so the moment you do that you will see dec dec stands for decimal so here already this calculator is set up for nine decimal places but in this question we just want two decimal places so i will click on two and then click on enter so by this time we can see that decimal places have been set to two decimal places now i click up arrow and here it shows aos so this is the mode so this is algebraic mode so it will follow the bad mass rule but there is one more mode which i will show you here we click second and click enter this is chn mode so this is a chain mode which does not follow the bad mass rules so if we want to solve this complex fraction then you have to make sure that your calculator is set up to aos mode which means it will follow the bad mass rule it will follow the order of operations so i will click second i will click enter and it shows aos which means now we are into bad mass mode i will click second i will click quit so it means by this time we have done two changes now calculator is set up to two decimal places and it is also set up to algebraic operations mode which will follow the bad mass rule if you want to double check you can go here second format decimal places two and the mode is aos second quit i come out of it now let us start solving this a complex fraction so this complex fraction is given here 175 divided by 
this number which is given here. So we are solving this complex fraction. So let me bring this calculator back here. So I will type 1755 and then I will click on divide and then the denominator. So this is numerator of this complex fraction. And denominator has to be entered under brackets with brackets. So I will click start brackets and then I will click 1 minus 0.21 times 210 divided by 365 bracket close is equal to. So the answer is. 1996.18 so you can use ba2 plus calculator any version of that for solving complex fractions but just make sure before using that to solve complex fractions your calculator should be set up to aos mode see you later